I grew up in Atlanta, Georgia. My father died in 89, and I came out here with my older sister, find that she was on drugs, and um, I ended up doing drugs. Then from there, I went to prostitution uh, to get my drugs, and then I was living on the streets. When I came to the Wine Guide, I saw a lot of the transgender community as well, and it touched my heart. When I first met Tracy, I didn't know if she was looking at me because she noticed I'm trans, or I was looking at her because I didn't know who she was. But the first thing she said to me is, you're new, huh? And I said, yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen you around. She's like, you know what? You'll do something good for me. I was homeless for at least three years. We have the most difficult time out there as being a transgender. You know, people talk about us, they want to jump us, they want to beat us because of who we are. So when they come here, obviously they're looking for a refugee, they're looking for a shelter, a place to feel safe. Being the first person that a person comes and see makes me feel like I have a very important job. Someone who welcomes them into their new place of transition. I think it's very important that you have that empathy with the clientele. Talk to them as you would talk to your loved ones. Talk to them as you would treat yourself. And the Wine God is trying to do their best to help transgenders and well, gay people, period. Miss Donna and Mr. Fernando saved my life from being on the streets. And I really appreciate them and I would never forget those two. I live here for like only two months. Two months, and then I worked at the Women's Center. I was able to save the money, and then my counselor, I came and tell her, and she looked into it for, for me and, uh, and do the paperwork, and I found a place. I would tell people that who ask me about the wine guard, they would give you hope, they would give you encouragement, they would give you faith to try to help yourself and to be helped. The transgender community is totally being seen, you know, less than, less than, less. Because we're minorities of minorities of minorities. And if you're a transgender woman of color, you're a minority of minority of minority of minority. So, you know, you're pretty much invisible. I would say for us as individuals to help these people is, you know, give a little bit of your time, give a little bit of your heart. I always tell my, tell my clients, if you just ever want to come and talk to me about anything, feel free to do so. I'm here to get to know you and to help you, to get to their personal goals and professional goals. To help other transgender to get off the streets is my main goal right now. And to try to find a, a group or a place where they can come and talk to me and to try to have a positive mind that there is some people out there that do care about us and respect us and will help us. It's the time for you to open up your eyes. It's the time for you to open up your heart and maybe welcome somebody else in your life. It doesn't necessarily have to be a transgender or a homeless person. It can just be anyone that you could ever thought of doing.